What's up guys, Rick here, and I've been playing a lot of the Golf Club 2019 on PlayStation and Xbox recently, and it's getting pretty popular, but one of the questions that I always get is, how does this compare to Rory McIlroy PGA Tour? I say they cannot be any more different, completely different styles of gameplay, which I'm going to show you in this video, plus you throw in the fact that the Golf Club 2019 is kind of open source in terms of its course creation. So there's like 100,000 different courses that have been created for the Golf Club 2019. Rory McIlroy kind of stuck to its, what, 12 or 15 courses that are already in the game, but it's just a completely different style of play. I made this video to hopefully hopefully show you some of the bigger differences. Not saying I like one more than the other. Actually, I do, the Golf Club 2019, but they're just different. So sit back, tell me what you think. TPC Sawgrass from the tips. This is number one. I, I am downwind, but you can see I can only carry this driver 285. Now I will get a little help from downwind and I'll get a little roll out here. So this should be over 300 yards and you can see I, I didn't put a great swing on it. I, I pushed it a little bit and that's going to stick me in the right hand rough here. Uh, obviously not ideal because the rough is fairly penal. That was a 309 yard drive. So that's about as far as I can hit one in those conditions. Now I didn't get the roll out. Um, I, this is... Uh, the rough is not as penal as some courses, um, but I, re I really need to be able to control my spin because I'm not going to be able to, you know, dance it around on the green. So I need to try to land this short and roll it back there to try to get close to the pin. So that's a perfect, perfect shot. I cannot control it while it's in the air. It is just going to release based on normal conditions, and I'm going to have outside of, you know, 30 feet for for birdie here 32 feet up the hill left to right putting seems to be the biggest difference it's a lot more exact and difficult in the golf club 2019 i need to know how far to draw my putter back and i've obviously not done a good job there but i need to know how far to draw my putter back based on how far i want to hit it so for me you know this might be a 10 foot or a 10 oh i'm going to try to not crush this you know if i only bring it back to here that's probably a 10 foot putt if i bring it back to here that's probably a 20 foot putt you know 30 and so on and so forth so this is just going to be a little tap uh going to try to hit it about 10 feet or so into the cup par on first hard working par out of the rough Now on number two, I've got the wind into me. It's a relatively short par five, uh, but I'm not going to be able to take on that water at all here. So I'm just going to try to hit one out there, see how far I can get it. The wind should hold it up and it should sit in the middle of the fairway, but we're going to have a fairly long second shot in. So this is back into the wind. That drive will end up at 285 yards, even with the rollout. So now we have a three wood into this par five. Now, I think we can still get there. The wind's gonna hurt it a little bit, uh, but again, we, we're trying to roll it up there. We're not going to be able to control this once it's, once it's off our club face. And that's a pretty good hit. I and mean, it's going right at the hole. Uh, now, a three wood generally releases quite a bit, and I'm gonna miss the green, and it's gonna roll over into this kind of collection area, and then the first cut of rough. So we have an up and down here. The short game and the chipping is generally the most difficult because it, it's a lot of feel. Uh, you, have to, you have to learn how the ball is going to roll out off of your club face. So that's a pretty good job I just did right there, and I'm going to tap it in for birdie. Hundred eighty one yard par three. I'm having to hit um, probably a six iron into this because I, I want the wind to hurt it a little bit. I could probably try to hit a seven and lower the loft a little bit. Try to hit a line drive and see if I can get this back towards the pin. But again, there is just a slight push. My tempo was perfect. Perfect. I pushed it a little out to the right and you see the ball moves to the right as well. 
I need to know how these, these this chip is going to release. It is downhill a little bit, and then it'll go back up the hill. But with I can't get much spin on this, so I'm just going to try to land it on the green and let it run out. And oh, look at that. I made it. I've done a pretty good job chipping today. But that is a difficult birdie to make on a regular basis. And then number four, this is a a short par four. It's a very short par four, but it's into the wind for me. I can't even come close to that water up there. I'm just going to try to hit a drive with the wind off the right. Uh, this is probably going to kick into the rough, and that was still a pretty good shot. All right, so now we're coming out of the left rough, having to go over the water onto this green. It is light rough, though, but with the wind back in our face and hitting a wedge, we probably want to take a little extra club. I yanked it a little bit. You can see on my swing meter there, and it's going left. So that's, uh, I'm, I'm of course using master clubs, which are you know the most difficult clubs in the golf club 2019. So any little flaw that you have in your stroke will impact the final result. And now here's a 60. A putt, I need to hit 63 feet. Let's see if I can do it. Big breaker left to right. I don't think I hit it hard enough going to come up pretty short here and we'll have that left for par and it's going to move quite a bit and pretty fast but we're able to drop it in so that's a hard working two under through four holes so the first thing you'll notice about rory mcelroy is that this is an arcade style game meaning that your golfer does not start quote unquote maxed out and you have to build them up and improve their overall rating in the golf club 2019 there are different club settings but there's no power-ups on day one if you can if you can hit the ball back straight and forward straight uh you're going to be just fine you do not have to spend a couple of weeks building up your character so what you're going to see here is there's my character my custom character who i believe is maxed out at this point and I've got all of the power-ups available to me. So I'm, I'm about as good as I can possibly be in this game. Uh, and then what you're also going to notice, so this is, I tried to mimic the conditions with the wind and everything. You know, this is sawgrass number one, uh, 424 yards. Now, I can also power up. So I, you know, I haven't played this game in a while, but uh, I, I believe I'm going to be able to carry that first shot. You remember in the Golf Club 2019, my first shot landed about where this arrow is. But I'm going to be able to basically spam the X button and, and hit a power-up shot here. Just like that. Now, you'll notice uh, I was not worried at all about, and I can also spin it forward, right? I can spin this ball forward try to get it out of the rough. I'm not going to. But I carried that 321 yards. So probably, what, 20 yards further in Roy McIlroy. Now... I will tell you, I'm, I don't really care at all about how exact my swing is in this game because it is it is not, you know, penal at all. Um, now, with the ball coming out of the rough, I might take an extra club here. I might take this 52-degree this wedge and see how this works out. It's back into the wind. It's out of the rough. I've hit a full swing, and now I can watch this, and I see it's going to come short, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spin it forward. Okay, and it kicks forward a little bit for me. Nothing too crazy, but... Not a bad shot, I suppose. We're going to get up and down here, I hope. I have not chipped in quite some time, so I want to actually uh, just aim a little bit to the left here. And you can see I really don't have to worry too much because I can spin it. And now I'll have a putt here. Which I believe what we want to do, if it's going downhill, is just move it a little bit to the left. bring it back all the way and push it forward. So that's the thing is, is you, in this game, you set the distance that you wanna hit it with the cursor, as opposed to with how far you're bringing it back. So in this game, when I'm putting, I always bring it back all the way and then always push it forward all the way. Now, uh, I downwind here, I, I think that, that I, this water does come into play. So let me power up this drive and see how far I can hit one. Now, I didn't really catch that. I didn't power it up as much as I would have liked, but you're going to see I'm going to run out of fairway here very quickly. This is a hole that I hit three wood into in the Golf Club 2019, and I just hit a 364-yard drive 
on number two here. So now I'm hitting an eight iron in. Uh, and I'll take probably take a seven because I'm coming out of the rough. But you can see the difference. You know, a difference between a three wood and a, and a seven iron is massive. And now I can actually spin this back and to the left. So it stops, it bounces, and it sits right down and spins to the left because I'm putting the spin on that while it's in the air. So obviously the more time you have to see where your shot is going, uh, it, it's it's a little bit easier. Now, if I want to hit this putt, you know, 30, 39 feet or 49 feet, this is how I adjust it. But here I just want something probably 15 feet out to the left. Um, I'm really only worried so much about line when I'm putting because I'm going to pull the club back the same distance every single time. And it's very easy to roll in that eagle putt. So that was uh, on in the golf club 2019. It was driver three wood chip tap in for birdie. In in this game in Rory McIlroy PGA Tour, it was driver seven iron from the rough, twelve foot putt. And I would never be able to spin the ball out of the rough um, like I do in this game in the golf club 2019. So this should be a seven iron. I'm gonna let the wind try to work it back a little bit. But again, knowing that I can spin it, you know, nothing's too dangerous here unless the wind does that to you. So we'll see how I can get up and down. I mean, it's really stupid to miss the green because of the way that you can spin it. Um, I could have played that to the middle and spun it all the way to the left. Let's see. Um, I think I want to flop this. I've not played this game in quite some time. Let me, uh, let me figure this out here. And I only have a sand wedge. Hmm, let's try something here. Let's try a flop. And then just kind of do a half swing. All right, I think I crushed it. I'll add spin to it, kind of spin it back a little bit. So that was not a great hole for me. But again, here we've got a little bit of right to left. Not that much. Probably like this. Pull it back all the way, push it forward, and see if you've read the green right. Have not. So I probably should have added, going uphill, I probably should have added some some uh, some power there. So we'll make bogey. And then we'll head to number four. So now number four, this same 397-yard hole that I could not even come close to reaching the water, I believe if I really crush one, I think I can actually carry the water. Let's let's try this. I'm going to really try to sp spam this. And I've gotten basically full power, full swing. I can tell you that I aimed that. I mean, my, my stick came, came forward way left. And you can see I just carried that 364, a total of 372. So it's a completely different game you're playing over here. And then trying to come out of the rough a little bit. Uh, I don't know how much this is going to roll out. Again, I, I have not played this game in quite some time here. I'm just going to try to pitch one on and spin it back. Okay, I spun that to the left. It does not stay on the green, but I think I might be able to putt this. If, 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 I, uh, if my short game was any good... I'd probably be crushing this course because you can see how far I can hit it. And we'll have that putt for, for par. So it's really the, the distance and the ability to spin the ball that are the biggest differences here in these two games. And the putting is, even though I missed that, I suppose a lot easier because you don't have to worry about speed and line. You only have to worry about line with your backstroke. All right, that's it. I hope that was able to kind of distinguish between the two. Obviously, Rory McIlroy, a an arcade game is what it is. You can power up, you can you can spin it. Uh, if you get really really good at both of these games, I think Rory McIlroy is a little bit more. I don't know. You can go super low. You can shoot in the fifties. Um, you can drive a lot of greens. You can overpower a lot of courses. In the Golf Club 2019, you can still go low, but you need to be exact. It's it's not so much a brute force game as it is a, a finesse game. So that's kind of the way that I look at it, uh, and hopefully this helps uh, decide between the two.